Okay, welcome back beautiful people. I know you all been waiting for the next uh, beer testing video which is coming up very soon because I'm here by the Audi and just gonna head in and get the five cheapest cans and go home and try them. Um, the thing is that I'm a little bit hangover but don't you worry. I don't think it's gonna make any difference in my tasting buds because my tasting buds are fine you have nothing to worry about all right let's have a look all right let's see what we have here i can already see i really like this one galahad i can get it oh my god only 73 cents lovely such a heaven all right job is done let's go home and actually there was more selection here than in, um, in the little last week so what I did I get five plus one uh, cans so yeah let's try them at home <coughs> okay my favorite people on the internet Welcome back. Um, this is another beer testing video. This time we went to Aldi, and this time I got five point five plus one uh, cheapest cans. So these I'm gonna try today. It was much easier to be honest to find the uh, cheap beers in Aldi than uh, back in last week in the little. Um, price wise, they all around the euro. 1 euro 6, 1 7, so one of them is 73 cents, I don't know which one, we'll find out. Um, Alright, let's get to it and we're gonna start with, I think, this one, the Galahad, okay? Please, enjoy! Okay, so we're gonna start with this beer called Galahad. Focus! Okay, so Galahad Premium Lager, again, a blue blue can, which reminds me last week for the Excalibur. Actually, this one has very similar logo also. So let's see, Premium Lager, 4% and yeah, refreshingly excellent. At least that's what they say. Um, yeah, let's try. I think this one was actually... You see now it's a little bit harder to to check on the RD uh, prices because all of them says Lager 500 milliliter 107 Lager 500 milliliter 1.76 Oh, but this one has a name Lager Galhad 073 73 cents please Okay, let's let's open it and we will see Ooh, huh. Oh, I smile now, yeah? No, from the glass. Okay. Friday afternoon. Sunny. Now it's very sunny outside. And... There we go. Wow, what we have here. Refreshingly excellent. That's what I need. Oh my god, look at the size of the head. It's going all over the place. Jesus. Okay. 4%. Got a head. Huge. Massive. Massive head. This one has. Um, I don't even know how to smell it. Because the fucking head is. Hmm. It, it doesn't have much. Um, much of an aroma. It has a little bit of hop smell. But other than that. Hmm, okay, anyway, let's try. But this has a huge head anyway. Ah. By the time I get through the thing and actually get to the beer, to the head, it takes ages. But I'm not saying, you know, please head disappear, don't. So, by taste, Easy to drink. 
cheap. It doesn't have much um, much taste, you know. This is one of those beers you can actually have um, ten of them outside when it's sunny, like now, and you wouldn't even feel probably if you have ten or fifteen of this. Nice, you see the head, boom, going away, disappearing very quickly. Um, nice bubbly, a little bit of hop smell, but other than that, it doesn't it doesn't have much aroma, it doesn't have much taste. I'm not saying it's tasteless, it's just something easy to drink. They call it probably a party drink, you know. So, um, yeah, we'll do the job, you know, if you're looking for a cheap can. And to enjoy something on, the, on a sunny day, you know. I honestly don't know what to say about this beer. Obviously, um, the can as a look, they try to copy the other one from the Lidl or I'm not sure or Foster's. Um, but other than that, I actually like it. And uh, now this time, I'm not gonna forget to put a rating for each beer. So this one, as the first one, let's just put a six. Okay, it does. I put. I don't put too much points on it because. Well, yeah, keep it as a six. All right. And now, what I'm gonna do between the drinking? So someone suggested me that, that I should do like a time lapse. So actually, I'm drinking the beers and not pouring them out in the in a sink or something. Yeah. So, time lapse. Okay, so we have the next one uh, called Cascona Premium Quality Lager. Okay, so what do you think when you look at this? Um, look at the can. Oh, yeah, like right now. I think we can all agree on that one that this one looks very similar to a Carlsberg can. Even the name, so bad. Cars clone. <laughs> okay. Brewed in France. Ay ay ay, French people. Okay. Um, 4.3 percent. Let's see what else we have here. Ah, that's it. Not much information other than that. Same thing. They don't tell you what's inside. You know, it's just the same same thing like uh, gluten so uh, barley. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so Cascona. Um, I like the can, you know, from far away they can think that uh, you are drinking Carlsberg. So it's grand. Let's see how it tastes like, you know, and all. And <clears throat> nice, nice clean color. This one is not gonna have that much head like the previous one for sure. Look. Or maybe I'm just getting better in the pouring process. Uh, this one looks good, like a nice you pulled pint. But we will see how long the head stays, you know. Uh, yeah, nice clean color. So many bubbles, I like. Um, head is still there, who knows for how long. Let's see the aroma. You know, in beers we don't say it's smell, it's aroma. Hmm. Not much. Okay. Doesn't have much smell actually. Like a normal lager, you know, they don't really smell that much. Oh. Oh my god, this one is really good. Actually. Nice, little bit citrusy feel, um, you know, like the aftertaste of it. But you can feel the hops. Mmm. Nice, clean, 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 clean uh, taste, the whole thing. A little bit bitter at the end and a little bit citrusy, but other than that, oh my god, this is really cool. I wish the head would stay a little bit longer, but other than that, hmm. Very easy drinking beer. 
really good actually. Hmm. Yeah, I really like this one. Um, yeah, since last week when I tasted the beers after that, I went back to Lidl and got one 12 pack of the, be of the best one. And so far, this looks like the best one from today. But don't go that further ahead yet because we still have uh, four more beers to try. So, oh, the price, the price. You see, this is one of those beers which doesn't really... I think this was 107. I mean, I believe. I don't think this was 176, so it has to be the 107 one. But, opa, excuse me. Excuse me again. Um, yeah, what else I can tell? Yeah, this one is actually a really good beer. I would rate this one as an 8. Because, you know, perfect beer, well, it does exist. And this one is actually very close to that one, but... Ah. Yeah, the more you drink from it, the more you feel the bitter end of it. Hmm, really good. So yeah, 8, definitely. Definitely much better than the previous one, and that one wasn't that bad either. Um, yeah. We switch back to time lapse again, you know, because I know you all like to see how I drink beer. So I was thinking, and Fuxi also suggested me to not just drink and come back with the next one. Just actually watch it how I finish these drinks, right? Who wouldn't want to see that? See you in a bit. Okay, where are we at? Okay, third one, third beer now, which is called Santa Etienne Premium Lager. Hmm. Oh, of course, have a look, my dear viewers. Can you focus? Yes, very good. Okay, so what we know about this one is uh, France also. I think the previous one was also from France, yeah? But anyway, okay, so French Lager and... Where's the fucking percentage of this? How many alcohol percentage? I can't remember. Ah, here, 4.8. Hmm, not too bad, okay. Ah, it's here actually, but look at this. How can you hide it there? Like, what's the point? Anyway. Okay, let's let's get to it. <clears throat> oh, fuck me. I'm itchy. I'm showered. I'm not, uh, you know. Okay. Um, oh, does not gonna have too much head, I think. Oh, we will see. Oh my God, such a professional I am. There we go. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Color wise, a little bit darker than the previous ones, but still really cool. And the head is still there. Don't think it's gonna stay for too long. How much was this on Etsy? Let's find out. Same, 107. Three beer out of six co uh, cost me 107. Alright, so French, uh, French Lager, smell. Hmm, doesn't have any fucking smell. Ah, oh my god, you know what this beer does? It's kind of want to be, uh, what is that? like uh, sharp and sweet on the same time, you know? But it doesn't really work out. 
Ah, no. It wants to have some sort of characteristic smell and aftertaste as well, but that thing, it's like basically dies in your mouth. The whole, the whole taste. And you see, head. Oh, never do this. Never touch your beer, you know. But I'm doing now just for the science. So, um, yeah, head is gone. Okay. Doesn't even have any smell, I'd say. But the thing is that the taste also not too good. Uh, a little bit bitter after taste, but other than that, it it wants to be some sort of special or something, but it doesn't have. Ah, oh, shit! Actually, it, it has like a. Oh my god, no! Now I feel it. It actually has like. It's not bitterly aftertaste. It it has like a fat out aftertaste. Mmm. Yeah. Basically, it smells and tastes like fat. Sorry, French people, but this is no good. Oh my God! Did I put any rating on the previous one? Yes, I did. Okay. So this one, ay ay ay. Cheap but shit. Uh, sorry. Uh, four. Four out of ten. Because you know, it's still a beer. Somebody have to drink it. Somebody put so much energy on this one, you know, to make it. And. Two. Not good. Smells like fart. But you know job has to be done so whew, this is so bad guys don't buy this beer very cheap but so bad go for the fake cash back fake cash back for life okay we're back in a sec okay so now I'm, what I'm gonna do is gonna fucking put it as not a time lapse but as a just a video and speed it up so we can all enjoy watching me drinking beers but don't buy this shit this is so bad guys so bad I'm sacrificing myself for for the science you know Safety is number one priority. I know it's a hard time for everybody. Please wash your hands and keep social distancing because otherwise we never go back to gigs, we never go back to nights like danger nights and all. And just a pub anyway so I know I'm doing lots of things for science and um, but this one is important for us for everybody oh but this beer guys never buy this this is so bad Okay, so so I'm back, and the next one I almost gave up the fucking beer testing after pre after the previous one, the, the terrible fart taste and fat smell uh, French beer. I don't even can't even remember the name of it, and it's better like that. Okay, but back to business. Now what we have here is Halne Halne Mokne. I think that means strong. Leave a comment below if it doesn't mean strong. Okay, so 
7% Look at the can Focus IR Focus IR Focus, yeah Hard to get the camera on focus, but Yeah, 7% Nice Nice grizzly bear Oh my god This is gonna be, again, one of those cans I'm gonna keep Like this one from the previous video Hey hey Anyway, hop 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 Back to this, back to business Okay, so Hannah Strong uh, From our Polish brothers you know oh my god I like the can it's it's the best fucking beer can I ever seen look at this grizzly bear how gorgeous is it okay but I wanna keep every beer under five minutes so let's 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 open okay ho 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 wait polish seven percent um can't read much because it's not written in uh any language I understand. Oh no, English here. Yeah, yeah, usual stuff. Anyway, seven percent supposed to be a lager, so not um, so not uh, any kind of colored craft beer. Shit. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, this is gonna be so much fun. Oh, 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 very dark color I can see already I mean it's a lager and all but still still has a strong grizzly bear color you know oh my god gorgeous can if you ever buy this just keep it it looks good um ho oh, oh, yeah look look at the color really nice very strong color strong color Head, head is disappearing, no problem with that, but smell. Rubber. Smells good. Smells good. Head, head is disappearing, that's no problem. You're not judging by the head anyway. Um, so nice, nice aroma actually. It doesn't have like a strong beer aroma, you know, some of those very strong beers, they smell like um, like you're drinking a fucking grenade or I don't know. Oh my god. Nice. It's a nice lager. It doesn't actually have that, um, have that, strong, have that strong smell. I mean, no, no, it's a strong taste what you would expect from a beer like with a 7% look at the head poor head poor head already finito gone hasta la vista ah. I believe it's a nice um, actually I did my research as I always do for everything so I know very well that this one is a traditional Polish uh, beer and they have like a normal lager, they have the uh, strong one and this one I believe it was 176 a little bit more pricey you know on the pricey side but but still very affordable poorly the head is gone but what can we do smells good, tastes good rating uh, sorry Rating um, hmm, seven, seven because you know, so far nothing can beat fit cats back. It doesn't have that strong taste like what you would expect. You can smell the whole like a little bit hoppy flavor and all, but it doesn't even have that very strong thing, you know. Guys, very much recommended beer. Even if you just buy one, just look at the can. So fucking hardcore. Am I right? Honey! I'm sorry, that sounded very bad, but anyway. Cheers.
egészségetekre. Extremely hardcore beer we have here, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Heine! Oh my god, this is actually a really fucking cool beer. I can't remember if I put any point on it. I mean, a rating. Uh, if I didn't, what did I? I will put 8. This is actually almost as good, actually the same good as the fake Kazbek. This is really good beer. Okay. Yeah. What happened with this fucking chair? Okay, the fucking rod. Okay, no problem. You can see that. Um. Okay, I'm back. And the next one. Ho 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 ho. Everybody knows how it looks like or what looks like like this. What's the name? Bra Brazers. Just look at the can. Authentic American style beer. I know, I know guys what you think. I know, I know. It sounds very interesting. And in this case, interesting means shit. But, oh my god. Anyway, after this, uh, after the previous one, the Polish beer, I'm just so happy. I don't even wash the glass anymore. I'm going very hardcore this time. Uh, yeah, what do I want to say? Okay, so let's have a look at the fake Budweiser. Do not forget that today already something worked out, which was a fake beer. That was the fake cast bag that already worked out. So let's see what's going on with the fake Budweiser here. Uh, yeah, American style beer. We all know what that means. Uh, 4.3... Uh, percent of alcohol <coughs> sorry mm, okay no problem look like Budweiser I like Budweiser but you know the real Budweiser not the uh, not the American uh, okay no more American uh, slagging things gonna come up don't worry my dear American viewers, if there is any. Okay, so what we're gonna witness here. I always forget the name. What was the name? Bray? Blazers. Blazers. Whoops, sorry. I mean. Ho oh, oh, ho, this head tried to disappear very quickly, I have to say. You see, I just poured, but the head is already gone, almost. Bubbly, clear, but what else, you know, clear color, that's fine. Head, no head. Uh, what's that, smell? Hmm. I would say it has a little bit of a... Uh, what is that? Like a multi... multi aroma. But... As soon as you want to smell it, it's going away already. Let's taste it then. Hmm. It has a little bit of herb. Herb taste and also and a little bit sweet at the end but but otherwise nice you know otherwise it's okay hmm Brazers and the other one what was the name of the fake Casbah? Kind of 
something with K. I, I can't remember actually. I have to have to look at my notes. Uh, yeah, this is not too bad actually. You know, they want it to be like a hundred percent premium quality, nice, crisp, refreshing, quite good. You know, you don't have to actually look for the head, because probably this beer. You're not gonna drink this beer from. Uh, sorry, I'm, I apologize for all this burping. <laughs> and if somebody doesn't like, then then don't watch beer testing videos, you know. Uh, but anyway, back to topic. Uh, yeah, so this is one of those cans, one of those beers, which you don't drink from a uh, from a from a grass anyway. This is the, probably the only time you would drink it from a glass. Otherwise, you just grab it in a can, go outside, and have one or ten. Yay! I'll leave them for a second. <laughs> Luckily, it's empty, right? Rating. Rating coming up. Really good. Really good beer. I would put... Hmm... Seven. You know, so far, so far I'm very satisfied with all the beers, and actually, I'm gonna skip from now on going to Lidl to get cheap cans because Aldi has much, much better uh, cans. Just think about the previous one. You remember the Polish hardcore one? Oh my God, that was something fucking unimaginable unimaginable and Un unimaginable I hope that's a word if not leave a comment below and fix me I mean the you know what I mean okay video At this stage, I have no idea how much was it, you know? And I'm not lying when the uh, receipt says Lager Lager, because have a look. Lager 107, Lager 107, Lager 107, but which one is which one? Nobody knows. Okay, so we not even near to finish. I know this video is gonna be so fucking long, maybe even a half an hour. It's gonna be a pure entertainment. Um, no more washing glasses, cause that takes lots of time. But anyway, five beer is already gone. Five beers is already gone. So what I have here as a bonus, as a tiny, Chiquito stop phone Chiquito tiny so small Look focus I have focus 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 Yeah, yeah, 
there we go a nice little beer called 1079 project okay what we know about this one so much information on a so tiny uh, can the 1079 project okay first of all it's 4.6 uh, Pilsner hmm sounds good to me phone go sleep uh, I think story of 79 the first cultivation of hope was in 736 in the Halle 2 region of Germany blah 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 nobody wants to know these fucking details right if you want to you buy it anyway okay so I think this is a craft beer that's why this is the bonus one uh, 4.6 um, alcohol percentage Pilsner I like Pilsner I think it's a Dutch Dutch um, Dutch Dutch produced Dutch beer yeah dry hoped crisp taste you see you don't even have to be a beer expert they already tell you what to say after this you know, anyway, oh, funny. ho ho, that wasn't the best idea, anyway, very nice, I can go quick, yeah, it doesn't make it, okay, no problem, no problem, go slowly, huge head, huge, almost look like a full pint but you know this is only 330 milliliters okay so this one hmm oh the aroma the smell is more like a fruity very fruity very citrus hmm I like this one this is more like a summer beer no summer craft beer from Hmm, from the lovely Dutch people. I can already feel it's gonna be amazing. Oh. Oh my god, it tastes really refreshing. A little bit dry, hot finish, but other than that. You know, anyway, Pilsner. Um, kind of beers they has to have some sort of uh, dry hop smell and finish you know that's why it's a Pilsner in in the first point but I'm, I'm not a beer expert you know so what I do I just fucking <coughs> sorry what gets in front of me I just say what I feel about it and that's it Hmm. Very well, nice, crystal clear. A really good looking beer. Oh! <gasps> Jesus Christ, price. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, price. Uh, da, 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 da. 97 cent. 97 cent, ladies and gentlemen. 97 cent for this little this little can here isn't it worth it I think it is very much worth it okay it's a very nice beer the only I think hmm smells good tastes very refreshing the head is kind of still there I don't think it's gonna stay too long anyway but the thing is it's a little bit more fruity uh, dry hoppy finish which is very good because that's what you want from a, from a, from a Pilsner you know and hmm I love how it smells or tastes crisp clean a really good beer very much recommended by myself 
and the thing about this one okay it's gonna get on the rating from 1 to 10 it's gonna go I think on the same level as the um, as the fake cast bag cause I don't know what oh, yes that was 8 I think yeah Oh fuck it, yeah. Let's go crazy. Eight. Eight out of ten. Focus. Yeah, eight out of ten. Because this is also a really good beer. But the only and the very small problem about this is actually that this is a small tiny beer. You know what it's good for? This is actually good for me to go down to to the shop, which is on the corner anyway. This is this is cool. This could last for for that long, just to go down to the shop and and get more beer, normal size beer. Anyway, slime chair. Cheers. Hmm. I'm very educated. Egyeséged rebaz meg. Alright, so where we are. Ah, music! Music! This has a real tiny, but a really good one. And there we go. This video is finished. What I can tell you all is I think the next one is gonna be I'm going to one of these uh, Polonese Polish shops and I'm gonna try um, the top five cheapest Polish beers. But till that, if you like my videos, put a fucking like. Please, just like this, you know? You have nothing else to do, just put the fucking like and subscribe. That's it. I see you on the next one. Oi, oi.